Bienvenidos, bienvenidos, and welcome to the Alamo Dome, San Antonio, Texas, USA, where tonight Bob Arum and his top rank incorporated is proud to present an evening of HBO World Championship Boxing for your entertainment. Sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, and Smart Communications of the Philippines. All bouts are sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. This first contest presented in association with All-Star Promotions and also sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel. At ringside, the three judges scoring on the 10-point system. Dr. Ruben Garcia, Levi Martinez, and Don Trella, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell in his 64th world title bout, U.S. Army First Sergeant Rafael Ramos. And now, let's get this party started. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the world. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, white, and blue, officially weighing 122 pounds. Professional record, 21 victories, including 18 knockouts with only one defeat and one bout even. He is the former WBO Super Bantamweight World Champion, the Residencial Barbosa by Amor Puerto Rico. W-V-2 Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, official weight 121, one half pounds. Professional record, 27 victories, including 18 knockouts with only one defeat. And he is undefeated over the last 10 years and has won 26 consecutive fights in a row. From General Santos City, Philippines, the four-time world champion, the Filipino Flash, Norito Dolia. Okay, guys, you see that pretty fine instruction. Recibiste las instrucciones. Protect yourself at all time. Protégete todo el tiempo. Give me a clean fight, una pelea limpia. Okay, and remember, no one is more professional than I. Let's do it. Is Denier capable of punching through one division after another, as many Pacquiao once did? Well, at the We pitch. need evidence. Yes, we, it depends on who's in the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have that ability, though, Larry. Well, we will find out. Back to the corner, Alekina. Until he does it, You're he ready? hasn't Let's done do it. it. <laughs> Round one begins. And you heard what Donaire said about wanting vengeance for what he saw as disrespect at the news conference. I don't care about the belt. I don't care about the money. I just want to knock him out. Uh. Everyone has talked about the height of Donaire and his ability to move up in weight because of it, but uh, maybe it's his stance, Emmanuel, but he doesn't show that he's any bigger than Vasquez right here. No, it, it seems to be this is probably where his weight is, but you know, there is so little difference between the weight division, 122, 126, it's only four pounds, unlike years back when it was like 126, next stop was 135. So to move from one division to another is really not that much nowadays. Our measurements found Donaire to be five feet six and Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. five, five and a half. So officially there's only a half inch height difference between the two and that's pretty much the way they look in there, I think. One of the things I love about Donaire, Emmanuel, is his clear focus and concentration. The way he always has his eyes fixed on the target, and he takes his time. He's patient. That's a very good part, Jim. A lot of people underestimate the value of the eyes, the concentration, keeping your, your balance, position. He does everything perfect. He's always in great position from balance. 
as well as his head and body position. And right now, his movement and speed, upper body speed and hand speed, is a little bit too much for Vasquez. Vasquez hasn't did anything yet, but he's going to open up in a moment. But he's having a problem dealing with the speed of uh, Donor. And every time he does punch, I'm going to see Donor waiting on him to try to counter punch. So he's a little leery whenever he does throw a punch that he's going to get caught with a counter punch. In terms of foot movement and stance, Donaire is in a boxing mode, but he's throwing punches like Sonny Liston. This is a hard punching mentality. You know, I was in the front of you mentioned it just when I was looking at the foot. Uh, Vasquez is a little bit flat foot, because, you know, with his, with his feet is a little bit more flat as compared to Donaire, who's operating more from the balls of his feet, and that gives him a little advantage in moving in and out better than Vasquez. But he's making Vasquez miss, and he's blocking whatever comes his way. Left hook by Donaire. His best punch, or at least <laughs> so it appeared against Mondial. This looks like the 13th round of the last fight. right away okay I was going right okay mm -hmm. it's good keep your cool don't 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 try too hard we got plenty of rounds take your time he's gonna he's gonna fall into into his own his own his own trip his own trick okay yeah. he's trying to counter you he's waiting for you to throw and then he wants to throw after you he's slower than you so you're gonna catch him when he throws all right just just keep your cool keep using that jab don't don't get too excited we got 12 rounds okay He's slow. When he brings your hands up, we bring it up, right, baby? He can't hit me. There's no power. Vasquez was a second year pre law student in Puerto Rico when some family situations, including the murder of his father's grandchild, uh, forced him to make another decision. And for the first time around in his late teens, he got into the ring and his father made him work out for a year and a half before he allowed him to have a fight. Got me box numbers in the first round. Donaire was 11 of 44 and Vasquez was 7 of 29. Donaire landing, it appeared, the harder shots in the first round as well. The Vasquez didn't throw too many punches in the first round. He's fighting a very conservative late back fight. Uh, I think he's intending to try to step it up as the fight goes on. But also, he's having a problem with the fast counter punches, particularly up down there whenever he does punch. Slip. Hey, hey, hey. Look and you me. saw Vasquez mugging at Donair after Donair hit him with a left hand shot to the body. And Donair's response to that was to step up and hit him with the two punch combination. Yeah, well, uh, trying to beat force with farce doesn't work very often. Vasquez starting to unfurl his jab. But so far, throwing one punch at a time. Obviously trying not to open himself up to Donaire's combinations. Exactly, Jeff. There's actually a little mark under the right eye of Denner. Like a mouse. Another hard left hand body shot. I haven't heard much about Donaire as a body puncher, Emmanuel, but he throws to the gut with passion. Yeah, he punches with accuracy and power with any punch that he delivers. He is very, very accurate. And, and the thing right now, I think Vasquez, as he opens up more, which he's going to have to pretty soon because he's getting behind on points, he's going to leave himself open to get caught with power shots more. Donaire on the belt line with the body shot. You saw between rounds that he's trained by one of the rising prominent trainers in the sport, Robert Garcia, out of Oxnard, California. Garcia wasn't going to become one of the most illustrious trainers in the sport with fading talents like Antonio Margarito, but with somebody like Donaire, 
he can make the kind of splash that, for instance, Freddie Roach has made with Manny Pacquiao. And I think he has a uh, Ortiz also. No, 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 yes, no, no, yes, no, no, Ortiz no, also has Victor Ortiz. Yeah, 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 Victor Ortiz. He's got some let's good go. young Watch talent coming up. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Excuse. He does not have Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz is trained by his brother Danny Garcia. He has, it was a family <laughs> feud. Brandon, there. He has Brandon Rios. All right. Yeah, that's right. He Brandon has Brandon Rios. Right, right. I know he had another young and talent. And in fact, Donaire has sparred from time to time with Brandon Rios. There's Rachel Donaire, wife of Nonito. And when we talk about the altercation between the two at the news conference, Lopredo Vasquez Jr. told me that had to do with some Twitter exchanges involving okay. both Donaire's wife and excited. his own wife. It's, it's just a matter of rounds. Another uh, implication okay, of Twitter. Yeah, you, you know, it's landing. interesting you're already landing, you're already how so around. many of the boxers' wives and girlfriends have got to be such a big part of our right? broadcast nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> the brave new world. Hey, listen, keep your guard up so you don't get hit. Okay? You good? Okay. Copy box numbers in the second round. Donaire 20 of 58, including 14 connected power shots. Vasquez 9 out of 32. So in the first two rounds, Vasquez has not really made the effort to be on the same page with Donaire in terms of punches thrown and landed. He's waiting. See Donair start jab, but he's not really driving hard jabs. He's trying to get Vasquez to start jabbing back at him. And as soon as Vasquez start get into his jabbing game with him, then he tries to sneak a fast right hand over top. Earlier in the round, Emmanuel, we saw Donaire lead with a left hook. It'll be interesting to see if he does that again. If you're going to lead with a left hook, you have to have the footwork to get in position to do that. Roy Jones could do it. Floyd Mayweather can do it. And now we know that Donaire can do Donaire it too. Donaire can do it too. He's one of those very gifted athletes, very well coordinated. I call him remind me of a gymnastic in terms of coordination and strength. Now he's giving Vasquez a different look, dropping his hands. And he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. And there was a perfect example. Can he finish him now? He's trying to land that uppercut through the center. Yes, it's going to take an uppercut if Vasquez is going to guard that way. Vasquez gets out of the corner and kind of grins as if that's a victory. Well, that sudden imitation of Sergio Martinez uh, ended with a clean left hook that led to that barrage in the corner. It's, it's amazing that oh. he did so much damage oh. to Vasquez with a punch that I don't think was even that clean. That just shows how much power that he has for a small fighter. Well, he's fighting small powers of fighters, Emmanuel. Why is that? So exceptional it's for a little guy no. if he's fighting another little guy. But say you don't see small fighters punching with that type of power. They're just well. very unusual. I mean, his knockouts are devastating. In fact, one of the most devastating punches I would say in boxing. And, and it's normally that should be with the heavyweights or middleweights or something. Well, we always talk about how you, you get hurt most by the punches you don't see coming. I think Vasquez was looking for a jab. And when Donaire ripped him with the lead left hook, he wasn't ready. Another great body shot. Pick your punches, okay? And even if he's hurt, make yourself look good. Step to the side and get him with a good uppercut or with a good hook or to your right. And you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Go on, yeah. It's a towel.
Here you see the left hook that, that hurt Vasquez, and as you can see, it was very difficult Wait. for Vasquez to even see uh, where the punch was coming from. And yeah. it wasn't really even a clean blow. It's well, it blazing. came over his glove. Yeah, uh, that's right. Landed, landed on top of the side of his head. That's just a demonstration of the tremendous power that he has. How can you generate that much power off that particular stance? Because he springs from his leg, uses his full balance in, in, in with it from his legs. Same way that Nassim Ahmed used to punch. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit like Prince Nassim. Donaire, 14 out of 40 in that round. Vasquez, 3 out of 25. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, I get a 3 to nothing, 30 to 26. No needle down there. Jim, I gave him an extra point in round three when he almost knocked out Vasquez. But I got to tell you, I ain't seen a top dodge fighter fall for a feint like that in a long time. I mean, he did a monkey imitation, and then he hit him with a bullshit left hook from God knows where. And, and Vasquez fell for it and almost got knocked out. I mean, it's unbelievable the power that this kid's got. First two rounds, though, they one easy because Vasquez is not doing nothing. Three to nothing. No needle down there. There's a mouse under Vasquez, his left eye now. Vasquez is starting to land this jab as Donaire acknowledges by nodding at him. Well, Donaire, it, he gives off the vibe that he really wants uh, to make uh, a statement impression here. And I think that Vasquez gets the vibe and <laughs> trying to figure out how to counter it and deal with it. I mean, the way he's lowering his hands here insolently, as though inviting Alvarez to try something. Vasquez. Vasquez, sorry. Uh, These uppercuts are short, tight, and hard. Yes, it's very, you know, the more that Vasquez starts opening up and punching back, the more he's going to get caught. Even when he lands a punch, he doesn't land with the authority or the speed that Donner lands his punches with. Dunair holding the right glove open as though to parry Vasquez's punch. That's exactly punches. what he's doing, yes. He's trying to parry and then counterpunch with the same hand that he parries with sometimes. And it takes great coordination to be able to do that. Showing off his head movement. as though uh, Donaire has abandoned the idea of just breaking down Vasquez and is looking to land one punch that would lead to a dramatic close. Double jab, right cross combination from Donaire so fast. Vasquez, pretty good fighter, keeps sticking that jab in there, getting a little bit more resolute in this round. After having been out of the first three, but it's another left hook from Donaire. Nonito Donaire was nine years old when he was brought from General Santos City in the Philippines to the United States. Yesterday, he spoke to us about the difficulty of his genesis as a Filipino-American. He says he was an awkward kid. He was one of those kids that just had to be picked on. You know, my ears were huge as, 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 as anything. You know, my tooth was as big as a beaver. You know, you know, it was everything that anyone and anything. So I was kind of like the fat kid in, in the playground. The, the fat kid? Is, is what we, we call it. In the sense that you were picked on. The target. Yeah. yeah. You, you were the target. target. I was the target and I was yeah. never picked because I was scrawny. You were never picked for games? Or never picked for games. Um, but mostly, I was many, mainly the target, you know, you people... You bullied around on? I was bullied around. I'd go home crying every time. I'd go home and then say, you know, why am I living? He's living so we can choose him for our boxing team. 59 out of 179 in the first four rounds. 29 out of 119 for Vasquez in Power Connects so far. And we spoke to you before the fight about Donaire's move to more power punching. He's landed 43 power punches in the fight. Emmanuel to so far only five for Vasquez, who hasn't really tried many. I am very, very impressed by his performance tonight. He's fighting a perfect fight with a fighter of Vasquez's ability because Vasquez has a good defense. He's very patient, but he's...